visual cue to head inside, and that's what makes uh, lightning so dangerous, right? Right. You can predict the thunderstorms, but where that lightning is going to strike right. specifically is... And a lot of times it's ahead of the rain, as we saw yeah. in that picture. Or Was long it after there? the rain, too. Exactly. All right. We've got a lot happening right now, so I want to catch you all up on it. Obviously, tons and tons of heavy rain from Houston along the Gulf Coast into New Orleans. It's been a mess in and around Chicago. It's slowing down air traffic, so we want to catch you up on that. But look at your ride along I-10. Heavy rain. A lot of it's still offshore, starting to see some of that lightning. But we've had rainfall already three, four inches in some of these spots. So places like Houston, it has been a bear of a morning drive. Flash flood warnings in effect for Fort Bend, Harris, and Waller counties. That's for you in Brookshire, Cinco Ranch, and Katy out until 11. Still have a lot of juice to work with, so as we get you through the lunch hour, still more scattered showers and thunderstorms, Chris, and heavy rain all along with them. See your heat advisories. And, and I will gonna, show you. And I will raise you frost <laughs> raise advisories, you. which we had this morning in the northern plains. Basically, all of North Dakota was under frost advisory. They finally climbed out of the 30s They're into the 40s. But you see, we've got a front and then sort of the secondary punch of cool air reinforcing it all and making it go even further off to the south. So what are we talking about as far as intensity? How about 10 to 20 degrees below average for high temperatures? That's just today, Minneapolis, Chicago. Look at all of the dark blues here pushing to the south. Knoxville 69 degrees, Memphis 74 and it is going to get all the way down to Atlanta 73 on Sunday. We're, we are all get your update on the tropics and got lots of circles here. Lots of things to watch in a couple of areas that are uh, already developed and maybe on its way out. So let's kind of start with uh, some of the things that are happening right now. We have Tropical Storm Henri and right now winds at 40 miles per hour and as we've seen with a lot of systems, the flare up of the showers and thunderstorms, the center isn't here. It's just off, uh, that convection's off to the northeast of the center. But the forecast continues to, to keep it a, a good amount of strength as far as the winds but uh, definitely taking it into the north Atlantic may be something for the Canadian Maritimes to deal with. So kind of out of range for anybody in the lower 48. Then we have this area to watch. Pretty familiar this time of year in this spot. 40% chance of further development. Kind of interesting though with the National Hurricane Center as it makes its way to the west, that's it's going to take a little bit of time before it gets into an area where there's possible further development. So yes, that 40% chance, but that's in the next uh, several days. So we'll have to watch, again, very familiar territory here. We hop skip a little bit from the eastern Atlantic over to the uh, Caribbean where we have the remnants of grace. You see a pretty big flare up of showers and thunderstorms. Uh, once again, welcomed rain for some spots. Uh, do we expect anything else out of this? Not really, except the rain portion of what this uh, former tropical storm is going to be bringing. All right, we find ourselves now in the eastern Pacific. Lots of showers and thunderstorms. Nothing looking like it's really coming together. With that said, though, there is an area of interest we'll keep an eye on for the potential of further development. Not much in the next few days, about 10% chance officially, but we'll certainly keep an eye on it. Conditions not as favorable they have been over the last several weeks. Now, we want to bring it closer to home because we've got our eyes on the...